Today's topic is, is media regulation necessary? By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the importance of media regulation. In the previous lesson, you have recognized freedom of expression and freedom of press is not absolute. So does this mean it is okay to regulate media use and the press? Why? What purpose does it serve? Does media regulation affect freedom of expression? Some people argue the press and media use should not be controlled by the state so that the press and citizen journalists can perform their communication roles. Some, on the contrary, strongly argue the press and media must be monitored and controlled because without control it can be a source of conflict and bring harm to the society. The necessity for regulating the media can be argued based on the risk associated with irresponsible media use. Today anyone can be a journalist. But we do not want our media environment to be polluted with fake news, rumors, and information that is defamatory and seditious in nature. We do not want people to misuse the media for malicious intent, to instill fear, provoke anger, and spread misinformation. Some laws must be in place so that media are used responsibly by practitioners and citizens. Social media allow individuals and organizations to enjoy close relations with friends, clients and other stakeholders. But one problem with this gain is the risk of not knowing who they are engaging with. Thus, it is a cause for concern as there is no fundamental way of proving the identity of people online. When people are anonymous, they can effectively say or publish anything. We must be aware of wrongful act of defamation, the act of communicating false statements about a person or organization that injure the reputation of that person or organization. We must also be mindful of sedition issue, which is the crime of saying, writing, or doing something that encourage people to disobey their government. It is unacceptable using the media to spread lies about a person which affect his or her reputation, and to disseminate information that encourage people to defy their government. Dissemination of fake news, seditious and defamatory information is harmful to well-being of individuals, society, and nation. In a multi-ethnic and multi-religious society, it is even more salient to be sensitive in what we say and publish. This is to safeguard the positive relations and harmony among Malaysians of different religion. We must stay clear the issue of race and religion sensitivity and royalty. Far from being some utopian tool of truth, democracy, and social justice, the internet and social media can also be a tool of misinformation, a playground for malicious attempts to divert people to believe and behave in a certain way, a tool to stifle debate, a tool to intensify differences between groups of people, a platform to discourage tolerance and understanding of people who have different of beliefs and opinions, a tool to harm people, organizations and businesses reputation, and a tool to disrupt social and economic life. In conclusion, regulation on the press and media use is justifiable in order to protect the public from harmful effects of irresponsible media and media misused. 